Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Jacob from Cinema Camp Productions, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to configure your Dazzle DVC100 with a recording software known as XSplit. Now, a lot of people have this problem where if you record with XSplit, then you aren't going to get any console audio. I had this problem myself, and I figured out how to fix it. To fix this problem, you're going to have to have a program known as Virtual Audio Cable. Sadly, this program is not free, so go buy it, do whatever you got to do to get it, and then come back to this video. Alright, now that you're back to this video, you're going to have to locate where you actually just installed this at. So, now you want, mine is personally installed on my C drive, uh, program files, 80, or just program files, sorry, and then uh, virtual cable, here it is, virtual audio cable. And then once you're in here, you want to find audio repeater underscore KS. Once you're in this, you just want to find wave in, and then you want to click on it, and then go to Dazzle DVC100 audio device. Once you've done that, you want to go to Wave Out and Virtual Cable 1. Click Start, and you'll notice nothing has really changed yet. Even if I click the middle button, middle button on my Xbox controller, you still can't hear any of the game audio at all. So let's go in and open up XSplit and let's fix this problem. Okay, now once you have XSplit open, you'll notice right away that you also still don't have any sound audio going on. Even if I do click the middle button, still you don't have any sound audio. Once you're in here, you want to go to your Dazzle DVC 100 video. Uh, like scene and you just want to right click it and then go to configure once you're in here you want to go to crossbar and you want to go to output select audio decoder out and input audio line in click apply click OK and now if we click the middle button if you notice right on over here watch a little bar came up which basically means now we're getting audio this is way different for everybody else uh, that I've seen mine's just really quiet all the time for some reason I don't know why but I like it being quiet because I only use it for background sounds anyways. So it's usually going to be really loud, so you might want to configure the audio on it with the uh, little slider bar here. And uh, yeah, guys, it's pretty much just been the tutorial on this. If you guys did find this video useful, and it, or if it helped you out in any way, or if you like my voice, or if you want to hear more of my voice, or if you want to do dirty things with me, make sure you guys get that like button a good old rent. And if you really, really enjoy, subscribe because it'll help me out in the long run. And uh, yeah, guys, this is Jacob from Cinema Cam Productions, and I will talk to you all later. See you guys. I need you guys' help again. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to upload here anymore. Um, I want to upload this Minecraft Realm uh, Land of Departure every single day. I'm going to try to at least. It's like a daily stream that we do from um, 7.30 to 9 U.S. Central Time.